Okay, so what I'm going to do here is to show you how I would go about um, using exam paper and then setting that up so I can write on it. Okay, I've opened the exam paper, here it is in Acrobat Reader. There's several ways you can do this. I'm just going to grab a screenshot and um, paste that onto my page and then write on that. Okay, so I'm just going to find a question in here and find a binary question here. So I'm just going to make that full screen. Now if I go back to my um, smartboard software, there's a camera button just up here. So if I click on the camera button, it now brings up a separate toolbar. Now this toolbar will stay on the page whichever window I look at. So I want to grab a um, just part of the screen. So I've got buttons here and I'd like to carry on to the page I'm on. So there's my that and you can see I've clicked on it, the cursor's changed and now I'm going to highlight that question. So there it is. And if I just let go of the mouse, that's now saving it and it's popped it now onto my page. Now I'm just going to get rid of that, bring that back again. I can pick this up and move it around. It's going to make it a touch smaller so it fits on the screen. And then just so that it doesn't wiggle around anywhere, I'm going to lock it in place. So I'm click on that arrow, click on lock and lock in place. Now, I can't do anything with this, I can just work with it. So I'm going to use the board now, and I'm going to write on this uh, using the pens. So, what is the binary equivalent of the decimal number 102? So, um, so the first thing I need to do is to work out uh, that for this number, I need to work out uh, what the binary is. So, in memory binary, the columns are these I'm looking at eight with binary here so I'll have ones, twos, fours, eight, sixteens, thirty twos, sixty fours and one two eights and then I would just try and work out from there so obviously it's got to be one sixty four and so on so I would now be writing and talking about how to answer this question so that's one way of, of capturing something and then using that on a page. Now, I can now go back. I could set up a new one and then I could, if I go back to my question here, I'll grab another question. Um, this is actually going to put it on the same page, which is probably what I don't want to do. So it's going to put it on the same page but I'm going to cut it, so if I go back here, you see it's put it over the top, so I'm going to cut it, control and X, or edit and cut, I'll go to a new page, and then I'll paste it down there, so again I'll make that just a touch smaller, and then I can work that through from there. Okay, if you want to make it, always go to a new page, click on that button there, and that will make that. Okay, so that's one way of, of capturing images and then using them. Remember, I just talked about that locking in place. Lock that in place and that will do it.